Hey YouTube, I thought this was only going to be two videos today, but unfortunately I have to have um, a third one because I'm doing this from my phone until I get my tripod for my camera so that, and it's just easier to upload to, you know, but anywho, I wanted to tell you my routine. Okay, so since I've been reading that book, The Naughty Truth, that's in my other video that I told you that I'll come back and do a, a re full review on it. I got, I, I got rid of a lot of things that I was using on my hair. Like even things like from Talia Wajid and all of them, you know, it's some, even though I like her products, it does, it's things that like when you read in the ingredients, you don't need in your locks. So it's really, if we use natural things and foods and things like that in our hair and on our body, it just, it, it helps it. It helps it to, to grow. And if you eat naturally good foods, it helps your hair to grow. It helps your skin to be beautiful, things like that. So I kind of threw some things away and, but I didn't throw, like from Oyin handmade products, I had a no poo bar, um, shampoo bar. And so I did use that um, to shampoo my hair on. I did an ACV rinse and then I shampooed my hair with that. And then I used my herbal conditioner. Now this herbal conditioner I made, I got it from the, the Naughty Truth book. But it's herbal tea, it's a cup of herbal tea that you know you put in the microwave, heat up, blah, blah, blah. And it's jojoba oil and essential oils. Now, what I do, I already have an oil that was already made, that I made for my hair. Because I use, I, I make my own oils. And the oils I normally use for the carrier oils are jojoba, olive, um, and sweet almond. Those are the ones that I use. And then I have um, an eclectic amount of different um, essential oils that, you know, have the nice smell. Um, and I ordered these from Coastal Scents. So if you are interested in making your own oils or spray. Go to Coastal Sense. They pretty much have everything laid out for you. Um, so this oil right here is peppermint and tea tree oil. And what I used was jojoba and olive in here. Peppermint oil uh, right here, which I'm out of. I have a, a bigger one, so this one is okay. And then I used probably like 10 or 15 drops of this. I'm not really sure. So this is just for my hair. Um, I also have an oil that I was using for my hair and my body. And this one is sweet almond, jojoba oil, olive oil, and uh, lavender, jasmine, peppermint, and a little bit of tea tree and vitamin E in there. So that's what I've been using on my body and my hair, but I have my own oil that I made for my hair now. So, um, And this is the package that it comes in. This is the, I just ordered these, so I don't need them right now because I still have, you know, this one right here, I still have... You know, my olive oil and, you know, I still have a little bit of the sweet almond oil. So, but I ordered this so I can have extras. And this is the sweet almond oil and jojoba oil right here. Um, the virgin oil, extra virgin olive oil, I just buy from the store. So, these are all my little oils that I've been using. I have cucumber melon. I have mango mandarin. I haven't used these yet. These are brand new. I have peppermint, which, you know, I needed another one of those. And I have lavender, which I needed one of those. I have vanilla lavender. This is mainly for like a bath oil. You know, you can mix it in with the jojoba, the olive, and make a bath oil and just sprinkle it in your, your bath water. And this is jasmine, which I need another one of those. Amber. Now, the amber, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with the amber, but I'm pretty sure I'll probably get some myrrh for frankincense or something like that and mix with that and make some type of uh, a woody cedar or cedar wood or make some type of woody type of uh, spice smell or something like that. Um, so that's pretty much what I, that is pretty much what I use. That is pretty much it. You know, I'll, I'll use uh, the, I'll use the soap right here or... I do have a body wash that I use, and I pretty much use all my own oils, and then I use um, the shea butters. So that's pretty much it, and it's been working. And another thing I wanted to say is that if you have any type of blemishes or anything like that, tea tree is perfect for that. Tea tree is perfect. Like I have a, 
I have an industrial right here, so you know I had a little bump up there, and it's perfect for getting rid of that too. So it's just perfect for getting rid of things, like it, minimizing it and making it go away quicker. And what I do is I use my African black soap. I break a piece off, use it in the shower. And then when I get out, I get a little bit of the just regular shea butter that is in the block that you have to chop up. I have that in a container. And I take a little bit of that in the tea tree oil, mix it in, and just put it all over my face at night. And by the morning, I if I had a blemish, it was gone. You know what I'm saying? So it's not that I get blemishes. It's just that I break out easily. So I just try to find something that's going to help me. Um, if you have any questions, comments, or anything like that, please uh, email me. Let me know because um, I really want to get more information out there if I can. And I appreciate all of my new subscribers. Thank you very much. God bless you all. And I'm going to get off of here because... This thing is probably going to go out soon. All right. Have a blessed day. Peace, everybody.